I'm Chris with Silverback Safety, and I hope you enjoy this video. So when we're talking about mechanical advantages, a couple things we want to keep in mind. Why do we use a mechanical advantage to begin with? Well first, we want to alleviate the load or the weight on the end of the rope for our haul team. If we just have a one-to-one -one rope pull, then the haul team is seeing 100% of the load. So that's where we're going to build our mechanical advantages to help alleviate some of the load and, and the stress on the haul team. Another thing we want to mention is the rule of seven. It's something that's a guideline that we use uh, for haul teams that if we build a two to one, we can have up to five personnel on the haul team. Two to one and up to five on the haul team is seven. Same thing for three to one. If you have a three to one, you can have up to four personnel on the haul team. Three plus four is seven. And if you do a four to one mechanical advantage, you can have up to three per personnel on the haul team. Four plus three, seven. Okay, so that's our rule of seven. Uh, the other thing we want to talk about uh, is you need to know how far you're going to have to haul and the length of your rope. So keep that in mind when you determine if you need to do a block and tackle or a piggyback system, a simple or complex or compound mechanical advantage. All right, so today we're going to talk about mechanical advantages. We're going to start out with block and tackles. A uh, two to one block and tackle is what we're going to start with. So you'll take your main line and you're going to anchor the end of your ropes. You need a loop in the end of your rope. And then you'll put a pulley. And the pulley is going to be your mechanical advantage. So we'll take this moving pulley and go towards our load. We'll anchor the end. And this pulley at the top right here is basically just a change of direction. It gives you no mechanical advantage. So we will attach the moving pulley to our load. And anytime we build a haul system or mechanical bandage system, we need to put a safety cam. And today we're going to use a, a mechanical safety cam with a soft link. We'll use this Prusik as just a soft link. I like to use a different anchor point. That way if we get in a bind, we can always move it a little bit. You have a little bit of adjustment up or down. And you attach this safety cam, your haul line, the first time it goes over this pulley, is where you're going to attach your, haul, your safety cam. The importance of going to a separate anchor is if we lose your main anchor or this change of direction, the safety cam anchor here will always have the load. So the way to look at this is Two to one is an even number haul system, so you will just have one pulley moving. If you will, we'll give this like an even number, like a two points. So your haul system will always be even if you just have moving pulley, and the anchor will, is where your knot will always be. So we'll show you how this works. As we haul, if we let go, the safety cam has it. All right, so today we're talking about block and tackles. We're going to go to the three to one block and tackle. Uh, one thing I want you to remember is, is if you have the knot in the moving pulley, it actually is going to be an odd number. It'll always be an odd number. So we start with a loop in the end of our rope. 
The easiest way for me to remember how to do a three to one is if you just take it in your hand and fold it over, you have two pieces of rope. That's where your double shift pulley is going to go. And this single loop right here is where a single shift pulley is going to go. So right here, double shift. And we can go ahead and hang our pulley on our anchor point, which is going to be the tripod. And then we'll take a single shift pulley. And the end of our rope. And that's going to go to our load. So we'll pull it down. As you can see, this moving pulley and moving knot. I like to count a moving pulley as two points and the knot as one point. So two plus one is three. This is going to be a three to one haul system or a three to one mechanical advantage. So at this point, we have our haul system built. But if something happens, we always need to put a safety cam in there. So today we're going to use a mechanical safety cam. We're going to use a soft link to attach it. I like to go to a different anchor point. In case we lose our main anchor, you'll always have this secondary anchor point that will be able to catch your load or hold your load. The way you know to put on the, the safety cam is your haul line, the first time it goes over a pulley, is where you put it. So once we have the safety cam attached, we're ready to start hauling our load. So as we haul, if something happens, and we let go, the safety cam captures it. All right, so we're, today we're talking about block and tackles, and we're going to do a four to one block and tackle. So remember a mechanical advantage of a four to one, for every four foot you pull, you're going to have one foot of progress as far as your haul system, or your load. So the easiest way to start is grab your rope, and you're going to need a loop in the end. And if you'll just, the easiest way that I've found to do it is to just make a loop. And everywhere that there is a rope, basically, made two loops here. Everywhere that there is a rope, we'll put a double shift pulley. So slide it right in between here. And you want to keep it straight. So also remember that if you are using, if you are building an even number haul system, your knot will always be at the anchor on an even number haul system. Another way to think about that is each pulley is, let's just say, let's give them two points. So each pulley is two points. So if you have two pulleys moving, two plus two is going to be four. And you'll have a four to one haul system. So build your haul system. You come over here and hang it on your anchor.
and we'll hook it up to our load. As far as the haul system, it is complete. But with every haul system, every mechanical advantage, you have to have a, a safety cam. So today we're going to use a, a mechanical safety cam. I'm going to use this Prusik as a soft link. So the, right, the proper way to, way to put it is the first time this haul line goes over the pulley is where you want to put your safety cam. So as you haul, if you were to let go of the rope, your safety cam will have it. Alright, so after we build our 4 to 1 block and tackle, I just want to show you how simple it is to flip that 4 to 1 over and turn it into a 5 to 1 block and tackle. So, 4 to 1 will disconnect the top pulley. And as we flip it over, we'll reconnect this pulley at the top. And we'll have to add one more pulley, it gives it no mechanical advantage, it's just a change of direction. That way we can pull in a downward position. Like so. So in this 5 to 1, you'll have two pulleys moving and one knot going down to your load. So two points, two points, one point for your knot. So as it moves, is a five to one. Now at this point, we'll need to reapply our, our uh, safety cam. And remember, it goes over the first time it goes over, the pulley is where you want to put it. So as you're hauling, if you were to let go, your safety cam has it. Five to one block and tackle. Hope you enjoyed that training video. Be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to view and watch our other